Those drifts are coming in heavy. I don't know where the road is, man. Are we invited? <laughs> this track's not spinning. Please let us go. If we do see you any further than that on the road, you will be sighted. <laughs> In this episode, we'll watch Hans, Cole, and Alex freeze their ass off. Was it quite literally a blizzard? Yeah. It was the worst flurry I've ever been in. It was, it was a legit blizzard. Could you imagine being trapped up here? Hey, I'm gonna have to watch that. <laughs> so all you better watch this too, because I'm already pumped to see what happened. All right, Al, time yeah. has come. We said we were gonna give away Alan's old hat because there's a lot of messages the people said they went and followed Alan's channel like we asked. I'm going to have Alan tell me when to stop scrolling so they get a chance to win Alan's hat. Okay, tell me when to stop. Stop. James Dickerson, 9012. You win Alan's hat. Wow. Yeah. Smartest yeah, James Dickerson's going to have to figure out how to harness those powers, so yep. he's got his hands full. And guys, watch the full episode and you'll figure out how you can win some climb gear. Yeah. Ooh, really nice. nice. Vortex. Mm, nice. Mm. It's not looking like it's going to be done anytime soon. I go. Alan, what? Hey guys, I'm, I'm saying same. you're fine. Hi. Right. Come with me. No, it's too loud in here. Cole, come on. Is it because Pedro is working on it? I'm going to ruin your day. So oh. I'm going to come out here where you can hear me and ruin your day. Dave does Christmas up at the cabin, just like did last year. Yeah. And I'm going to need your help. So he rents it before Christmas for his whole family. And then the owner of the cabin comes in for during Christmas, and then we rent it out for the month again, like we did last year. However, uh, I was dropping vehicles off last night and uh, ruined the Ranger, which is like the main vehicle to transport people to and from the cabin to the parking lot. Because it's like, parking lot here, cabin here, you gotta drive. This See? is a recovery episode. So this is a miniature recovery. Hopefully this bolts right on and he won't ever notice. He lands at one up there. It's now 11.17 and it's like a two hour drive. So we gotta, we gotta roll. All right, let's boogie. Can I turn it down? Too much. You told us that we didn't need any extra gear. I just said you should be fine. You'll be cold, but fine. That's kind of what I meant by that. Listen, man, I didn't want to sit around the office any longer, okay? I could have gone and got my snow gear. We could have had a great time in the snow, but now we're going to have a cold time in the snow. Those drifts are coming in heavy. Dude, the wind is blowing so bad on this snow. I literally think there's a cop up here telling people, don't go. Actually, he's probably not letting you go over the pass. No. Please let us go. Don't do this to me. Don't, don't do this no. to me. No. Gonna try. How we doing? I ran over my cone. Did I? Yeah. I'm sorry. That's why you stop back there and don't drive through. We're going right here to this lodge. Okay. Is that all right? That's why you'd stop back there and ask me, okay? Oh, sorry. Do you want me to back up? No, that's what you do next time, though. Okay. 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 We just didn't want our trailer to be in the intersection. Yeah. That's why you stop on the side of the road, like everybody else. We thought we clouded the spot. Sorry about that. Can we go Wait to that? Wait a minute, let me get my stuff out of the way so you don't continue to destroy it. Okay. My bad. If we do see you up any further than that on the road, you will be sighted, okay? Yeah, I'm going to the lodge. Okay. I don't know, I'm just warning you yeah. so you have a fair warning. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Okay, appreciate it. did not run it over. I thought we were out of the way. We were 100% just fine. Where do you want us to pull over, in the drift? I couldn't tell if he was like gonna snap out of character and smile. Holy smokes. I thought the whole time he was he was eventually oh, going to do that. I can't see, where's the road, right there? I don't know. I think so, I don't think so. I don't know where the road is. There it is, wow, dude, how'd you know that? A lot of whispers. Hey, we don't need any snow gear, right? That's violent. Say when we get in there. <laughs> hey guys. It's like the hateful eight. <laughs> we get trapped in here with John Travolta. <laughs> John Travolta's not in the hateful eight.
Are we invited? <laughs> Are we what? They know we're coming. <laughs> this guy's running, man. Yeah. The truck's running. Right Usually there. you leave your truck running in situations like this. As you can see, it's really windy up here, and uh, we got to unload the trailer and we got to fix the Ranger still. But could you imagine fixing the Ranger in this? Luckily, we'll only be up here for a couple hours. Hans says, I don't believe him. Shit. <laughs> we didn't need any winter equipment to do this one. I mean, I don't believe this. Nothing was necessary. Thanks for borrowing my uh, climb suit diesel. I feel great out here. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, I think I have a window. Back up. You can see something out of that? All right, plan is right now, once we get three machines unloaded, we're gonna go up and I wanna start like a fireplace so when everyone gets here, it's like warm. So. First th three machines we unload, we head up. The, these machines that we unload right here? Yep. Is there one that has a cab on it? Ready? First three machines. It's gonna be a blizzard, snowy, biznatch. All right, let's do this freaky thing. Not today. Not today. For a minute, a minute, it could be a bit different. You don't know. Every time Hans asks me to go on an adventure, I don't know why I don't listen to him when he says adventure. This is Hans' idea of an adventure. So, I should, next time when he says, let's go on an adventure, I'm gonna say no. Trail. <laughs> Cole's got mountain blindness. Can't go on. Must be killed. <laughs> We're so ill prepared. I don't think you guys understand how cold it is right it's now. It's way cold, and you know, I think there's a, a wind chill factor that we're dealing with. And oh. it's, it's it's snowing from the side. And we don't have goggles, and we have a three-mile ride. Yeah. In in this. Yeah. And we don't know where, like we know where we're going, but we don't know exactly where we're going because we can't really see where we're going. We remember it from last year. We got it in our memory banks. Yeah, it's up this road three miles. Good luck, Charlie. Because I'm a nice guy, you can drive the cab. Yeah. Me? Yeah. You want to put a talent? No, I just want to be a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, yeah. Man. Hey, Hans is going to be a nice guy and let me ride in the cab. Thanks, Hans. I stole these gloves from someone. I don't know even know who they are. Gordon. It is so damn cold. Remember, these things are a little temperamental with uh, some tracks on them. Ah, oh, man. I hit in the face with some snow. Hey, Ace. You got any more of that gum, Ace? <laughs> Remember something about these machines? Well, they don't go above a certain RPM or mile per hour without being buckled up. You put her on low. Cool. This track's not spinning. I don't know what happened.
Dude, I did not think we were gonna make it, but we made it. That's like paper plates. So, a lot of people are like, you know, Hans, what do you do for when you're working for day? Like, you know, do a little bit of everything. However, my one main focus, I'd say, I make sure Dave and his family, both Daves, are taken care of. For example, come into the cabin today. I want to make sure there's a fire for them. It's warm and cozy when they get here. The sidewalk shoveled. Make sure their gear is here, their gear bags. Is it unnecessary? Probably. Do they like it? Yeah. Does it keep food on the table for me and my family? Yeah. Is that why I do it? Yeah. Things we gotta do before they get here, which they just called me, they're on their way. They no longer can fly because the weather's so bad. So, the fire started, I'll unpack the snow gear, make sure all the machines are up here, full of fuel, get the Sisu up here, unload it, and then make sure to meet them down there because there's no service at the gate. So I just gotta be down there, ready to get them here in like an hour. <coughs> Find anything? We can burn? Got some weed, man. <laughs> No, we got, a, we got a phone book. Which nobody uses this anymore, so that's why we're burning it. Yeah, we got uh, paper towels, coffee filters, or napkins. No paper plates. Can you grab some more uh, wood out of the wood area? Hey man, out of like, the the, out of the woods? Stuff, stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah. Little stuff, you know? Yeah, little stuff. Is, there's a, you see like a little hatch or something? Like Over here, Cole. Nope, nope, nope. I'm starting to think that uh, Hans just brought us to Detroit. Yeah, I know, man. Let me split some stuff, man. I like splitting stuff. You picked a you picked a really bad piece to decide to make kindling out of, by the way. Let me see it. Let me see. Yeah, don't don't show that on camera, man. I don't want my wife. To ah! <laughs> Some of them. Exactly like we planned. Sorry about that, Alec. <laughs> I usually bring kindling everywhere I go. The nice thing about kindling is it's dry. Alright, I'm to find an actual piece. Get more luck smashing the side of a bigger one with this. Right here. This, bad is, this is our bad boy right here. It's like the same one I have earlier. See that? No, no knots. Loving balls through. Alright, this is good. We can build a TP out of there. You cheeky children! I just definitely brought the long, wrong. Wrong close. Wow, well, that's that's so that was your move, huh? <laughs> that was your plan. Hey, you're supposed to just throw everything in there in a in a in a tent like fashion. That was You threw it in there like a trash can fire. It's crackling. Are those chestnuts? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. So get this all set up for Dave, so. Ooh, a new climb helmet. Goggles. You had goggles this whole time? Who shit themselves? You've had this pair of extra gloves this whole time? Yeah. We're in the Rockies. <laughs> We've got some new bib. That sounds horrible. Yeah, man. Could you imagine being trapped up here? Oh, you hear that? I can imagine it being a lot like this. Cole. What? Can you go in the closet and see if you can find any other hangers? I just came out of the closet. <laughs> you go back in. Freshen the boots. Cole said he would send out a subscriber uh, something, didn't you, Cole? The coat that you gave me, the climb coat? Yeah. It's for somebody else? Uh, I just wondered if you wanted to, you know, give it away instead of keeping it. To a subscriber. All right. Hands gave me a coat for Christmas yeah. in true fashion. He wants me to give that coat <laughs> to someone else. One of you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna give one Wait, of you guys. Wait, why aren't you wearing the, go the coat I gave you? Because it's for Christmas. Oh. He wasn't supposed to open it yet. Yeah, so I'm wearing my old climb gear from last year. Still very nice. So we're gonna give one of you. What, what were we giving away? Whatever you want, man. I think we like a coat or something. A coat or something. No, Cole. All right, all right, all right. It, says, that... it says right here. Cole says next. <laughs> We're giving away some climb gear to one of the subscribers. That's in the, you read that straight out of the uh... Dish Network handbook? Yeah. And then next, Han says, yeah, yeah. Subscribers who like and comment on this video. That's your line. So we're giving away some climb gear to somebody that likes this, likes and shares this. Oh man. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. I, hey, I'm you know what? I'm not great at reading. <laughs> next. Cole says we're giving climb gear to a subscriber from the channel, but Hans says, Let's do it, Cole. No, you're supposed to say, make sure they like. <laughs> oh, make sure you like and ding. comment on and this. And comment ding. and subscribe ding to the channel. Who would be picking one of you guys at random? 
Yes, for some climb gear. Thanks, guys. Started the fire. We've unpacked his climb gear. We've got the house open, ready to rock and roll for the party, for the guests. When are they showing up? Any moment now. So, we're gonna run down and go work on the ranger. Roll up. I'll drive. Hands! Save yourself! <laughs> Ready? Let's try to get a machine Yikes. gun. Well, he got himself in a pickle there, didn't he? <laughs> that's an ice cube. That's not a pickle. That's an ice cube. Idiot. Oh, dude. Jeez. Oh, my gosh. Just so much snow. We're grateful for it, though. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 <laughs> So we're in the Ranger right now. Has a broken shock. Still usable. Like if you just baby it. Open air razor. Ah! <laughs> just keep going. Dude, in the, the same spot. Windshield wipers. Windshield wipers. <laughs> in the same spot, we're getting just pummeled. I don't know where we're going. Poles driving. Jeez. Stay right here. Okay, yeah, I'll stay here. I like getting here. This is nice. Thank you, Polaris North Star Ultimate Package. This sucks. Listen, this is fun and all, but this isn't. This was not a vlog. Hans did not tell us this. I get see. really excited when Hans is like, "Hey, man, you want to come vlog?" No, I'm like, I, I'm like, "Dude, yeah." I always want to be on TV. He just needed two extra hands to help him yeah, do he, his chores. He needed a few, a few people to help him. And, and he saw. And we got nominated, and I, I'm, I'm. I'm grateful for it. This is nice. This is fun. I don't know if we should be grateful. <laughs> Everyone else had to stay at the shop. Who are the two people he could take? And, you know, when the cameras up and be like... Beep! I just wish he was honest. Yeah, honest with us when we needed snow gear. <laughs> like... When I needed my climb suit from Diesel Dave and... Uh, I've always been told there's no such thing as bad conditions. Just bad attitudes. Bad gear. Oh. Like, there's gear that can, you know, prepare you for any situation. We don't have that gear. No. I lost my right glove, and these gloves aren't really <laughs> good for anything anyway. Oh, my pants are just soaked through and through. Oh, uh, well, no, we'll get your machines up there, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that part out, too. <laughs> El Nino! All right. Why did you do that? He always says, like, half the sentence and gets out and runs away. Ah, ah, shock! Shocking! <laughs> go, <we're driving. laughs> go, car, go! What do they have? Oh, for snowboards? He did it again. Oh, hey man. <laughs> You're not hands! Yeah, yeah, I ran all the way around when he opened the door. I was standing right next to him. Yeah. When there's a door to be open. Yep. Start the timer. Probably need to lift the uh I would just go under where that hitch is at. Yeah. Here, throw this in. Start there. These jacks don't really go high enough. Some well used brick you got there. Yeah, we've used it quite a nice. lot. Toolbox over there, second door down in the middle. Yeah. Oh, actually, I pulled it out. It's on the I was other gonna side. Say, bro, you're you're doing everything with four sockets. <laughs> hey, uh, big thanks for these guys yeah. letting us use their shop and all their tools to do this. Makes it real fast, and if you haven't noticed, it's a little cold outside, so a lot warmer in here. Oh, look at that deer! Got to look. 
Hey, man. <laughs> Where'd you put her? We need to always be checking out there for sparks. Cole, you're in sparks duty. If you see him, say, Caw -caw, Caw -caw. Warning, warning, warning. Probably need this, and probably need a 15 inch to get perfect. Jeez. <clears throat> We're organized. So, this shock. <coughs> There's supposed to be a cast aluminum oh, sleeve that goes like, right there that you adjust everything. It's like yeah. adjust everything. You're talking about this thing? This thing's supposed to be there. Okay. That's pretty fine. Damn it. Come on, baby. <clears throat> so, what's happening is, I showed you the piece that was missing. So instead of replacing just that one piece, we're just going to replace the entire system. Shock's still fine, it's just that stupid little collar. No. Oh. So, you really sold me on a on a real expedition. $10 here. can car! <laughs> Normally, I would just do. There you go. Now, see if it's loose. Yeah. yeah. Pull it out? Uh, yeah. Come nice. On. All right. Nice. So, samesies, samesies. That right there is what broke. Just it MIA. Look like it's affecting it at all. Well, it adjusts it. Adjusts it. Yeah. And it gives a little bit more support. So, right. last thing I wanted to do. Have Dave up here with his family and have issues. I get it. Can That's I cool. see if they're out there yet. Yeah, yeah. We're running cool. Got the bolt. Oh, him in the expedition. Throw the hand in, Cole. Okay, nice. baby. Bolt. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about it. Bolt me. Sitting Cole. Eyes and deceptions. Yeah. Go. Stay right here. Go home. Down with that jack. I think I need to put them all the way up to have it go down and the tailgate's in the way. Right? That actually would make sense. First off, Cole. Yeah. I'm very mad at you. Why? Oh, remember when I was like, maybe we should invite Alan. <laughs> Look how fast hands did this. Yeah, you're right. We don't, hey. Alan was better off being the shot for this one. Hands had this covered. I want to let everyone know hands is pretty handy. Thus, his name. <clears throat> How's it looking, hands? Hold on a minute back here, Cole. What? Game over for that Did guy. Break giveaway? Yeah, it was on the side of it. That was his favorite one. That was his favorite brick. Three-year-old brick, man. Think of all the work that brick has done up until you got involved in its life. Now the situation is. The suspension is not set right. The shocks are set at different settings. Do you have the wrench to adjust those? Um, I have one over here. So, shocks in, installed. Did it before Dave got here. That was the main goal, now we're just adjusting it. Dude, I we're knew going. I was gonna break that brick too. <laughs> I was like, man. Probably. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, cool. You oh, what do you run them in in the snow? Less travel or more? Or much as, much as high as you can get them. Yeah. I can't believe you did that to his brick, man. That thing had like stories on the side of it, man. Yeah. Every person like, like you know, when you go to the brick and you see a guy with tattoos and they all have a story. Yeah. That had scrapes and dings and dents on it. You killed the biggest guy in prison. And then <laughs> Cole Respect. came to his life and was like, "Hey, watch, watch this, man." Hey, this one respected well brick. For this respect, I do it. Let's <laughs> kill it. Thanks, man. Yeah. What's up? You snowboard behind the extra. Oh, like, yeah. Style. For sure. Yeah. Hang on to the handle and like lean back. Surfboard no. The way they both responded, they would not like to do that. <laughs> Something you don't do in your early 40s. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the truth comes out. He's afraid of his health. Thanks for letting us do that, man. Did you see his face when you broke his brick? 
I didn't. I was looking for Dave, like a good boy. Well, then I done. He looks so sad. See how you can see the drive and stuff? Yeah, it's nice right now. <laughs> as soon as Dave gets up here, it gets so nice. It's gonna be sunny. Yeah. It's freaking sunshine and rainbows. Follow degrees. Dave around like freaking crazy. Oh, it's Christmas. Go to Idaho. Say bye. Oh, hey, bye. I'm, so, I'm, like, I'm I, uh, sorry. Bye. Bye. No, it's fine. It's good to see you. Hey, we got all the stuff done. All the people were loaded up. We're heading down because they're going to close the pass. Yep. Uh, we're finally headed out of here. At a... Uh... Oh, no, we're not finally headed out yet. What do you we mean? One... <laughs> what do you mean, man? we got to go unhook the trailer and try to get out of here. The police stopped Dave and said they weren't letting anybody leave. All right, guys, we might not be headed out of here. So, yeah, might be spending the night, hopefully in the cab, not in here. Maybe in here. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Alright, let's go. Ah, in the, oh my gosh! Alright, so unhooked from the trailer. It is 6 o'clock. Sparks was the last one to head this way. He's like, you're not going home tonight, are you? And I said, yeah, I gotta go home tonight. <coughs> He's like, they're not letting anybody back to the pass. Because all the snow plows are stuck up on the hill up there. They can't get down the hill. Can't come down here. So we gotta go sweet talk this officer. It was already <laughs> does cool. not like us. Is it clear to go this way still? Yeah. They're allowing it? Cool. Perfect. Okay, appreciate it. Thank you. Same cop. Same cop? Same cop. Oh, he was kind of a jerk to us earlier, but hey. way nice now. Well, it is 740. Uh, Christmas how long, Eve. How long did it take us to get back? Uh, Two hours? Two and a half hours. We made it. That's all that matters. We made it safe and sound. Let's shoot the intro real quick. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect timing for an intro. Perfect timing for an intro to this film. All right, here we are. All right, guys, Hell. we're gonna explain to you how much crap goes into getting stuff ready for a simple uh, trip to the cabin or a simple Christmas vacation. Yeah. It's like. Uh, 80 mile an hour winds today up here in Bear Lake. It's miserable, it's cold. I didn't dress for the occasion, my so my shoes are soaked. I uh, forgot my right gloves. I told these guys it wouldn't be intense and we shut up and the police were like, you can't pass. So watch the rest of the video for details. Yeah, man, I, I wish I was back in the shop right now. Back to the shop. <laughs>